To Art Leffer, in the meantime, a former Reagan economic advisor. And Art, we have a market that's getting excited about a lot of these economic plans. Um, what do you think of that? I think it's wonderful, and thank you for having me on the, the 20,000 plus day. I there you go. Enjoy it. But let me just caution people not to be depressed, but you're going to see a lot of these 20, 21, 22, 23. In this next seven or eight year period, Neil, I think you're going to see an enormous surge in asset values in the United States in real terms. And I, I just think it's going to be a wonderful era, and you and I have been talking about this for a long, long time. And it's finally here, and you're seeing the policies go through, and it, it just, I, quit, I can't imagine it better. You've got the alignment of all the political stars. You've got a four-year runway for this president and this Congress. And you've got the states, you've got the governors, you've got the legislature. Soon you're going to have the Supreme Court, the Fed. You know, it is a perfectly tuned thing, and the bar is so very, very low for Trump, not only low economically, but low politically. I thought we had a great deal in 1981. This guy has even a lower bar, which means that almost anything he does will be right and will create prosperity. So I am very excited about the next eight years. Now, let me ask a little bit about that, because I always feel maybe just covering all of this when the market is selling off aggressively to look at the half full glass and when the market's running. Yes. Up a great deal, maybe to look at they have empty parts. Exactly. It's fair and balanced, as you know. So yeah. <laughs> here's a concern that some have that, unlike the Reagan example, for example, we have much higher deficits in debt. And secondly, we have the Federal Reserve um, that doesn't see eye to eye, certainly with this administration. Now, Paul Volcker was just cracking the back of inflation at the time Ronald Reagan came into office. And it was a, you know, a little more than a year before the impact of that registered. Do you worry? about a Federal Reserve that could race ahead, raise interest rates in this environment, mainly because of good things, not bad things. Things pick up, well, rates go up. But that that could be the fly in the ointment. I don't think it'll be the fly in the ointment. I think what we need to have is higher rates. I mean, if you're going to have a boom that's going to last any length of time, you need to have a tip shield somewhere in the two and a half to four and a half percent range. Remember that the tip shield is the expected real return on a unit of capital over a 10 year period. So you've got to have a very high expected real rate of return on capital. If you get that two to two and a half percent, two, two and a half to four and a half percent tip shield plus a two percent inflation premium, you're going to have to have the 10 year bond at four and a half to six and a half percent within 18 months. That is the perfect scenario. Now, if it goes much well, higher than that, you've got a two and a half percent on the 10 year as of the <clears throat> moment I'm speaking to you. Give Three percentage a... points more in the next year and a half. OK. And, and you think I the think market that's... could absorb that comfortably? I think it'll be not only absorbed, but I think it'll be very beneficial. Well, I the think you're right. You get back to historical norms, to your point. But you and I can remember a time when they were much, much higher yields than that. Oh, um, do and I that ever. we're just getting back to the norm. <laughs> but as you know, aren't there are a lot of very young people today who wince at the no, thought no. of that? How, how, how do they brace for that? Well, I don't know how they do. I mean, it, experience is a wonderful thing. It, it lets you recognize a mistake when you make it again. Uh, but in, in all truth, uh, we had way too high inflation, way too high interest rates. We brought it down to the right level. Uh, these people have way too low interest rates, which has discouraged capital from going into the housing market, into the investment market. And with those rates coming in and making it far more attractive, bringing it back to a normal market where demand equals supply is what we need to have. It's what we did in the 80s but coming down from way too high. And what I think we need now is bringing up from way too low. And once we get to that nice middle range, I think this economy just, just chugs along for a long period of time. 